A very good evening to you. Thank you for joining us. Welcome to Sports Tonight. This is the Monday night edition of the show. It's the first edition of Sports Tonight for the week. And of course, the promise is to be exciting from field as always. Usually on the Monday, we review uh, a lot of the events that happened over the weekend. And we also try to situate um, events for the new week. Tonight will not be any different. We'll take a look at events that happened over the weekend. And there were quite a number uh, of those events that we'll talk about um, on the program tonight. And as well, look into the future. Um, a lot to look forward to um, this week. We will try to talk about all of those as well. Uh, as we go along on Sports Tonight this Monday. But we'd like to start by saying thank you to you for joining us on Sports Tonight. And uh, let me just quickly introduce to you my partners on the program tonight. Austin Okonakwan uh, keeps his place um, in the starting lineup. The reason is obvious. Um, tomorrow, that's um, Austin, mm. Channels National Kids Cup. Yeah, showing on your screen now, mm -hmm. 2015. It starts tomorrow. Yep. And we'll be talking about it as we go along on the show tonight. Oye Wichimachuku. Onye proverb is also on the show uh, tonight. There will be plenty of proverbs tonight, particularly if you are a lover of shooting stars of Ibadan. And uh, Aqua United, Onye has a proverb for you, that the morning decides the day. How you start the season probably will show how you will end it. That's for shooting stars. So the other is also in the house. Let me tell you, the shooting star supporter, but he's not been feeling fine since Saturday, <laughs> when shooting lost <laughs> to Heartland of Oweri, he's, he's not been himself. But he, he's going to be on the show tonight. We'll touch his, uh, feel his body, and see if he's uh, going to be up to scratch uh, as we go on. And uh, don't worry, just wait for that part of the show when we'll be reviewing uh, the Globe Premier League after the second week of uh, games are played over the weekend. Of course, um, the IWTF Lagos World Tour will also be an issue we'll talk about on the program tonight. And uh, our teams on the continent, good, the bad, the ugly, will also feature um, on the program tonight. But let's start the show up on a very, very sober note. Uh, just a couple of hours ago, the Nigeria Football Federation sent out a press release announcing that this man that you're seeing on your screen, in case you are wondering who this man is, that man is Coach Willie Fazwaye, veteran coach, successful coach, coach of Nigeria's original dream team to the Atlanta Olympics. He was very key to Nigeria winning gold in Atlanta Olympics. The technical advisor, of course, was Joe Bonfrey, but he was the man who started the journey and he was with the team from start to finish. Coach of New Nigerian Bank of Benin, easily one of Nigeria's most successful clubs, winning every trophy in sight in the 80s, mid 80s, up till the early 90s, Willie Bazwaye. Sad news is passed on today. Willie Bazwaye is no more passed on at the University of Benin uh, Intensive Care Unit. He was rushed there, he had a long battle with paralysis and eventually gave up the ghost today. So we start off the show um, on this very sober note, remembering another falling hero. Gentlemen, Coach Willie Bazwaye. Before I come to you, uh, we have someone joining us on the line. Uh, someone who played under Willie Bazwaye. Somebody who can talk to us uh, about Willie Bazwaye. The man, his philosophy, his life. Austin Popo, the General Secretary of the Association of Professional Footballers of Nigeria, Apon, is on the line to us on Sports Tonight to talk to us about uh, Coach Willie Bazwaye. Uh, Austin, thank you for joining us on Sports tonight. W w what kind of person was Willie Bazwaye? Well, uh, mm, so sad. Uh, Willie Bazwaye was, uh, apart from being a coach, was actually a father to all of us. And uh, no wonder, little wonder that uh, the team he coached Prominently talking about the new Nigerian basketball club was very, very successful. Uh, particularly, I remember an incident where I had some issues with him on the beach, and we went to the camp, and I was carrying my long faces. He came to me, and I said, I was it because of the issue we had in the field? That's why you're carrying your long faces. No, that is the kind of person he is, because he understands the fact that. He needs results, and he also knows the caliber of players that can give him the results. 
uh, talk about Erin Wilson, for, exa for example. Uh, uh, clearly, Erin Wilson was very distinguished in our team. Mm. There are times we have issues with Erin Wilson. The players themselves will beg him, allow Erin Wilson to play, because at the end of the day, he will deliver for us. You know, it, it, it was not just a coach. It was, it was actually beyond coach. He had his fatherly role, and he was so sad, you know. Uh, I I tried to visualize so many things. You know, the exploit of the Nigerian Bank was so unique that it was able to build the team as one family to the extent that if a player in the Nigerian Bank happens to drink water or a drink and the other player will go there and pick it. It was it was it was a very unique team, coached by a unique man, just not just a coach, a leader, you know, has it. Hmm. That uh, is the kind of person he is. Uh, Austin, um, yeah. he, died at the, he died, I mean, at the very ripe age. I mean, to be fair, 80 um, is a ripe one. But then the circumstances surrounding his physical team, because he was a very strong man. Even when he was in the 60s, he was still actively coaching. Very active. Um, but what lesson can we learn from the passage of uh, Willie Bazwaye in terms of how we respect some of these heroes, some of these legends of the game? Some of those who actively served us uh, in their youthful life. These things we we keep reoccurring. It's not one. It's not two. It's not three. Even from the news I've even had now that Sebastian Bodrick is even on the sick bed. You know. You know. You see. You see. We must talking about whether you are a coach, whether you are an ex player. You see. I, I think the responsibility now falls on the issue of the coaches and the players' association. No, the players and session as a body has taken some bold steps in the past to ensure that we must take our destiny in our hands. Because mm. this whole idea of, of just living our lives, we just play and see somebody else will take your responsibility, it has to stop. That is why I beg everybody that, you know, there is a union recognized by the Nigerian Football Federation and FIFA. There is also a body, coaches and session. So the earlier, the better we come together and, and forge ahead uh, so that we can, you know, we just need to, we just need to be focused. Because at the end of the day, when we coach, ex-footballers, a lot of players are being owed money. 90% of players today, they will tell you, if you go ask them, what are they going to do tomorrow? They tell they will end up as coaches. And they will be coaching at the end of the day. They will be owed money for two years, three years. So at the end of the day, this same person goes into retirement without any form of money. Mm. How does it go for check up? So these things they will keep on uh, reoccurring. So we must take responsibility to take our destiny in the hand. These are lessons we need to begin to learn and begin to see them and begin to analyze. Because the, uh, the whole issue of blaming the other, every other person should be behind us. Because now, you, you remember, just some few weeks, the so we, we, we sent close to about 40,000 naira for almost 10, 000, for almost 10 players, 40 times 10, about 400,000 naira of three cents mm. to take up their health challenges. But the truth is that these two bodies, these two bodies, they are key, they are key to football in Nigeria. And we must be able to access statutory funding you see, in the past, we tried to launch these players' welfare trust fund and all those things. These are issues we need to take seriously. The NFL must, must, must come out. We need to see them eyeball, eyeball to eyeball and discuss the issue of the, the, the coaches and players' welfare in Nigeria. Because they will, they will surely come. These are the pitfalls that have to do with our profession. So we must be able to put in, in the, the, uh, we must be able to put in mechanism to arrest this. And they happen all over the places. So this is not the time to begin to apportion blame to anybody. This is the time the coaches and the players, they must come together and take their destiny in their hands. Hmm. Well, thank you so much for speaking to us, um, Austin Popo, yeah. uh, General Secretary yeah. of the Association of Professional Footballers of Nigeria, uh, talking to us about uh, the late Willie Bazwaye, uh, a man who gave his all, and uh, his name is, of course, written in gold because he was the chief coach of the original dream team that uh, went all the way and won Nigeria's Olympic gold at the Atlanta 1996